Hello everybody, welcome to the barn where we party hard but hustle harder. Now for today's episode for social media tips, it's not gonna be like my other ones where I go list like one, two, three, four, five. Although I have tons of those videos ready for you, so many of you are getting it so, so wrong. And let me explain what I mean by this. Now that I've done YouTube for a month, People are also always asking me, how can I get more subscribers? How can I get more sales? How can I do this? That in itself is not the approach you need to have when it comes to your content. Because with your content, you want to be giving value to the other person. And with the modern day of social media, if you're not winning right now, as Gary Vee says it, you suck. Because as I mentioned severally on this video, you're just creating, like in the past if you wanted to run a business, you had to go out, start the shop, get traction to that shop, get the word of mouth, and then you would establish yourself. Today, with the tap of a few buttons in a couple of minutes, you can have a fully functional store. You just have to become very, very self-aware because every card is played for you to win. How can you have the power of social media to reach thousands of contacts in minutes and still not be making any revenue? And I used to be in the same position about a year ago till I realized like videos like this are not going to help you as much as you taking action. And you have to become very, very religious about your contact. And what I mean by this is, if you're not replying to every single comment, it's very disrespectful. Very, very disrespectful because you're chasing 10, 10 wannabes who are out there who don't give a shit about your content and you're not giving attention to the one person who's actively engaging with your content and gives a fuck about you when he's the one type of person who could get you content no uh, person number two, person number three. For example, uh, he has a very long channel name, but shout out to you, you watch every single one of my videos and because I reply to you, because I create content that I feel will appease to you, I know that I at least have one fan every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. I may not have thousands, but I know that one person is clicking on my thumbnail to watch me for me. How can someone have taken the time to reply onto your content and you don't give them the time of day? How are you ever expected to grow? As I go back to the name, social media. It's meant to be a social experience. You're meant to interact with people. Also, the best feedback loop you'll ever get is from your audience. Even if it's a small audience, like I explained on Monday's video, the shout out to Anand. He gave me some very insightful tips on what's working with my content for him and what's not working for him. If you don't take time to listen to these people who are actually engaging with you and giving you the time of day, then you don't deserve to grow. And that's the frank truth. And another thing you have to realize that social media is a game changer. Cause I mean, I have a friend who literally plays Call of Duty or Clash of Clans and they're streaming their videos and they're making far more money than me as an auditor. They're the ones who inspired me to create this channel. I saw, like you know our parents were saying when we were young, you'll never make money playing video games or doing this stupid thing here and there. Get a real job. But the thing is, the world has changed as, as, and as Gen Z, you need to realize if you have passion for anything, whether it be Star Trek, it be your gut, I mean it could be freaking, I don't know, birds or flowers, there is someone out there who wants to learn more about that topic. I mean even when I play my video games, I go and Google, how do I pass this level? So don't be fooled that you can't make money doing anything you love. And as Gary Vee, you know, that guy's my mentor. One day I'm gonna bring him on the barn, you guys. Like, I promise, if it wasn't for Gary Vee, I wouldn't be where I am today. And in fact, let me just take a moment to shout him out because he said these exact words to me and they were a real slap in the face. He simply puts it this way. Would you be rather work at a desk job that you hate, let's say earning $100,000 a year, or cut down that to half but literally speaking your truth about things you love. 
It's about perspective. But do you know why society is not able to make this leap? Because they want to show people, my job is paying for my Rolex, my job is getting me this car. And by showing people who you really don't care about, because at the end of the day you can never care about someone other than your family or yourself, the way you care about outsiders approval, by wanting to show them like I can afford this Rolex, I can afford this lifestyle, you're not able to make that step back, even though it may be humbling and maybe you won't be earning as much, but you'll be pursuing something you love. And like he went on in one of his podcasts to stay, like if you have to go cut back on your expenses and even go stay at your in-laws house as a man, that's a very, very, dis like your self-confidence won't allow you, your ego won't. But if you allow that to die and build this thick skin where you literally don't care what other people think about you, that's only when you can do what you really love. Because right now, there's a lot of fake it till you make it culture online where people are showing off lifestyles or versions of themselves that they really not are, such as these entrepreneurship coaches. By the way, that's not what I am. I literally speak about topics I care about and these are usually from other people and in my own way, I'm documenting for myself. And that's the way you have to use YouTube. And what I love about this camera is Every time I look at the lens, I can see a reflection of myself. So I'm really speaking to myself what I believe in. And if you start talking about things you don't believe in, just to impress other people, or to show yourself as this person you're really not, every time you do that, you're holding yourself back. Be you, fully you, what you love, who you are, Show that to the world wholeheartedly for free without trying to make anything in return. Become religious about your content and everything else will fall into place. Now I know I've gone over so many tips on this channel from niching down to building a team to doing this to doing that. But the one thing I have to tell you guys, the one one thing, I know I've said this in many videos as my final tip but it's very true. Just hit record. Your first videos will be shitty and get zero views, get three views, get 30 views. Even some of my videos get that today. But know that you're creating content to try and improve for the future and everything else will fall into place. And another thing I want to let you guys know, this is not a game for everyone. As you know, it gets overwhelming to try and create new content every day and you have to be familiar with the camera. But you, that doesn't mean if you're not producing long form content on YouTube, you can't be successful. You can be an animator who likes to draw, show off your art on Instagram or Pinterest. You may like podcast style videos, do that. You may like doing something in your video, for, exa for example, extreme challenges or pranks. Go for that. You may like just creating quotes that are already there in a unique style and posting that. Just do that. Whatever you're comfortable with and whatever your heart resonates with first, before that little um, voice in your head that becomes too literal and forces you into thinking rationally steps into play. Whatever your heart thinks, this content is for me. Jump on that platform and just perform your duty on it. Wait. It may be a year, it may be 10 years, but what I can promise you, if you're doing something you love every day with the ambition of trying to improve, there's no ways you can't succeed. Now Barn has clients, as I mentioned, but it took a year to get here. And still people wouldn't look at me as like one of these great guys of the 21st century. But that's the thing, I'm not doing it for them. I want to keep on growing, growing, growing until I see something that I'm proud to say is my own. Even if others think it's not good or others think it's brilliant, what do I feel about it? And when you start going with that perspective, how do you feel about things? What's your version of the truth? And how can you transform that into meaningful lessons for whoever your audience may be? You will truly prosper. Let me promise you that. Anyways guys, I know it's been one of the sit down camera style videos where I'm just throwing facts at you without any structure. Some of you love this content, some of you don't. 
but whatever the case may be, I work very hard to produce five videos for you every single week and very soon we're launching the Instagram, TikTok, uh, uh, LinkedIn and all those other platforms including the website and there are going to be some crazy crazy things coming to this platform so hit the subscribe and push bell notification so you don't miss out and for now, peace.